lovelies, Cuckoo Cuckoo here and welcome back to the March Disney Bound Challenge. Today's prompt is to recreate an old bound. And as you can see on the screen, I've recreated my Jane Porter bound. I save all of my bounds to my Sims library. So recreating one is real easy. I just load it up. Also, you can see on the screen, I now have a white cast background, which makes me really happy. I just kind of sporadically decided I needed a new color background and I like the white. It's a blank canvas and it's very inspiring. Anyway, because I don't actually dress up for my bounds, this prompt was kind of boring, so I decided to reinterpret it to be reimagine an old bound, take a character I've already bounded, and redo their look. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a totally different take on Jane Porter. Same outfit, like she has a few different outfits. We're still doing the big poofy yellow dress, but we're doing it kind of differently, and I'm really excited about how this turned out. I never super loved my original Jane bound. Like, it was fine, it was cute, but it was a little too formal, and it was really too literal. This is a problem I have with bounding. I want to get pieces exact, which is more cosplay. Like, I never go full cosplay, but I kind of wander in that direction. And I need to let that go and let my looks be more abstract. I find my looks that aren't super exact, but capture some of the right colors and the right attitude tend to be my favorites. This is still something I struggle with though. I'm just a very literal minded person and things need to be exact and so just like letting go and being creative with a concept is weirdly very difficult for me. <laughs> like I'm having the same issue. I'm writing a Robin Hood retelling as I've mentioned a few times and I'm having a really hard time not just like telling the story of Robin Hood. Like my premise is kind of different, definitely not like your typical Robin Hood story. My premise is there is no Robin Hood, made Mary and made him up, but still like all the story beats I want to hit are typical Robin Hood story beats. Like I have to do the archery tournament and I have to do like I have to do these very specific stories. I have to do the bridge scene. And like it kind of works, but I, I need to remember that I don't have to stick exactly to the original legends because Otherwise, people would just read the original legends, and it would be better than reading me retelling them. <laughs> that was connected with bounding. I don't know, I kind of got off on my story. I haven't been working on it. March is the worst for seasonal depression. Like, February is the worst because February is just bleak and depressing, and you just... Like, winter will never end. But March is, like, bleak and depressing, and then there's sunshine, and it's happy, and it's spring, and then, no wait, it's snowing again. And that for me is almost harder because you get these like highs of like, oh yeah, I feel great and life's going to be good. And then you just crash back down. And I'm like, I, I almost would rather just like curl up in my cocoon and just be depressed <laughs> than have this like false hope continually. Like my mom starts getting hyped and she's like, yes, spring is coming. And I'm like, yes, but it won't be here till April. So can we stop being hyped about it? Uh, but it makes the March Disney Bound Challenge a good thing for me because it gives me somewhere creative to go that doesn't take as much like mental and emotional energy as writing a novel. Although I do still really want to be doing that. So, you know, maybe one of these days. <laughs> it's fine. Playing Littlewood and making Sims videos are very important right now. <laughs> I really, really enjoy the Disney bounding. It really does give me a very positive place to go. And I had so much fun with this one. I used this piece from the, I can't remember the name of the pack, the haunted house pack that we got recently. Um, was it just paranormal? Was it a stuff pack? I feel like it might have been the paranormal stuff pack. I See, I don't even remember. I've heard the kits are not good. I kind of wanted the bust the dust one. And then I watched Sim Supply, Sim Supply? James Turner. Uh, I watched his video on how broken it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hold off on that one. And they will probably never fix it. I don't think they ever fixed the Moschino stuff. And I know they haven't fixed Get to Work, which was like the third pack. Yeah, it's still broken. You cannot play the detective career, even though that was one of the three big, like, it came with three careers. It was a big deal. One of them was detective. It has never worked. It is so glitchy and so bad. I love Sims. I really do. I don't mean to be one of those people who just, like, constantly bashes on it. It is an amazing game, and I get so much fun just out of the cast and just out of the build. And, like, like there's so much within this game. But it is annoying that stuff 
comes broken and then never gets fixed. So we'll see if they fix Bust the Dust. I will only buy it if it goes on sale and I can get like all three kits for five bucks instead of five for each of them because that just seems absurd. Anyway, I feel like I spiraled off in negative directions, but I'm really, really happy with this bound. I think it came out super cute and I love Tarzan and I love the character of Jane. I, I gushed about her a lot during my original Jane Porter bound. So if you want to go watch that one, you can do that. But otherwise, I'm just gonna, yeah, we're, we're just gonna end this look here. Come to me now to see my world Where there's beauty beyond your dreams Can you feel the things I feel Right now with you Take my hand There's a world I need to know That's it for the March Disney Bound Challenge Day 11 prompt to recreate an old bound. I had so much fun reimagining Jane Porter. I'm really happy with how it came out. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!